for another week of BJJ Ball. I'm going to be showing um, an escape from the side control today. Uh, a couple of weeks ago I showed the basic um, escapes to the side control, mostly focusing on the positioning of my um, opponent's body and the different ways to create space in order to make the basic escape work. Uh, today what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show a more advanced uh, finish to the escape. All right, so just a quick reminder, what we talked about uh, last week was when your opponent is directly on your side, it can be hard to make the space that you need in order to move your hips out and bring your legs back in. So we talked about bringing your legs close to your opponent's body and then sliding your upper body away. This puts my opponent at a 45 degree angle down the side of my body. It's very, very easy now for me to make space in order to bring my knees back in and place them back into the guard. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna move the upper body away, begin to escape the body. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this arm here and I'm gonna reach over the top of his arm. And the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna bite my arm down very hard this way, okay? Squeezing in on his shoulder. This makes it very, very difficult for him to reach underneath my my uh, neck at this point and put me back on my back, okay? This hand, what I want to do with this is I want to reach and grab the inside of his leg, just like this, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin to go to my knees and this hand right here is going to grab his other pant leg. Now, as he drives weight back into me to put me back into my back, I'm now going to roll him over and establish the cross side position. Okay, one more time. So I'm going to show the move again, and this time Sean's also going to point out a couple of things from his perspective as I'm about ready to complete the move. So I move the legs towards my opponent, move the shoulder away. Escape, escape my hips. I'm going to come over the top, reach in and grab that leg, begin to go to my knees. All right. So from here, I, I feel like there's possibly an Ezekiel, but like I can't, I can't really reach. And I have pretty long arms. And, that's, and, and again, that's because I am squeezing this arm down very, very hard. If this is loose and he's able to get a deeper grip in here, yeah, he, here I can. he's going to be able to do it. Here. So I can't just grab, I have to bite my, my arm down. Here I just feel like if I get an arm triangle, I'm just going to jump over. If I jump over to that side, he's going to roll me. So that's all I see. I, I can't really reach the Ezekiel. Now the other thing that might happen is it might look like it's very easy for Sean to take my back from here. If you notice, I'm almost going to my knees, but I'm not completely turning to my knees here and sacrificing my back. No. Okay. So when I step, when I begin to go to my knees, I want to push into him so he puts a little bit of weight back into me. And then again, I'm going to roll and take him right over the top and establish the, the cross side position. Okay, so um, I hope you like that variation in uh, coming weeks. I'm gonna keep building on this and, and, and show a few more of the common ways that you can get out using that initial, that initial setup. We'll see you next time.